meeting of faiths and minds. The Crossroads of Civilizations Museum in Dubai, hosting a delegation of rabbis and Jewish community members, facilitated by the Abrahamic Business Circle to promote interfaith dialogue. It was a great uh, meeting when we were together uh, from different religions meet under one roof. We see things, highlights and the beauties from different cultures. And uh, that really you know, and it shows how deep uh, you know, how we are linked together. The museum has a trove of religious treasures from all three monotheistic faiths. One highlight is a gravestone with Hebrew letters, likely dating back to the 16th century. And there are other gems of Jewish history there as well. What's interesting about this piece is that usually it's either in Hebrew or in Aramaic. This magic ball contains half in Hebrew, half in Aramaic, and the word is in Arabic. So three Semitic languages in one book. We have very beautiful you know, uh, prayer books, huge one, you know, historical from, uh, uh, from the Ashkenazis, and then we have the Arabic, uh, also with the Safari, and also we have uh, a very beautiful piece of, of, from the Torah uh, from the fourth century. There was also a meeting afterwards where those involved could exchange ideas. If we're going to start with bridging, uh, with normalization, it's good to have different aspects, you know, and the culture is a very important aspect. I know people talk about economic and about other things which are very important, but uh, but you have to always find the glue that brings the people together. And uh, and we are all from Middle East. Religion is very important for us, all of us. So you cannot talk about Middle East without talking about religion. The tour was followed by a collective prayer with Christians, Jews, and Muslims, as they hope that by learning about the past, they can create a shared future. This region has been for a long time unstable. It has been going through lots of uh, hardship. I think it is the time, the 21st century should be our century for peace, for stability, and for development across the countries in the Middle East. Emily Rose, I-24 News.